As residents slammed by the deadly floodwaters of Hurricane Helene start putting their lives back together, the American Red Cross is already by their side in many communities, adding their shoulder to the wheel. And here to tell us more about the agency's role in disasters and how you can help is Karen McCoy, the executive director of the American Red Cross of Louisiana. So thank you so much for joining us. We've just been talking about the devastation. You know, we've been seeing the pictures. We've seen the videos on our screens over the past few days and we see the rising death toll, which is just absolutely heartbreaking. This disaster was unprecedented. Absolutely, it's unprecedented. It's something that we haven't seen the likes of ever, honestly. Um, and the, the widespread damage, over 500 miles worth of damage, mm -hmm. has just really um, stretched everybody so thin on what all that they are responding to and what we're having to do and what we're seeing. It's just, it's amazing when you look at the video that's up on the screen right now, seeing those floodwaters. You and I were talking about the fact that there are some areas that are so isolated. People are actually bringing in relief on mules, yeah. on horseback, any way that they can. Uh, yes, and so that's the one of the challenges we're facing unique to this disaster is the level of infrastructure that has been demolished and destroyed by it. And so it's actually getting those supplies to the residents and working with those different um, um, people that are able to get them into those areas that you can't normally get into anymore. Mm -hmm. And now that we are days out from this happening, how quickly is the Red Cross able to kind of move in and figure out the logistics? So we were actually there pre-positioning before it ever hit. So we were there pre-landfall and then it's really just getting the green light to go out once, you know, we have the roads are navigable and to be able to get in and to hand them out. So we are there working with our partners now handing out food, handing out water, opening up those shelters. We have over 80 shelters um, open right now. We have over a thousand volunteers, some right here from our area over there helping our neighbors out in their time of need. Um, so it's really been a group effort from us having the supplies to people having um, the support to actually get them to those remote areas that we don't mm -hmm. have access to. And you mentioned that there's a way for everybody to volunteer and everybody to get involved, whether it's actually traveling to the destination. Yeah. And if we're here locally and unable to travel, we can still help make a difference. That's exactly right. So we are definitely looking for volunteers. We need um, volunteers urgently bad for this. So go to redcross.org. Um, we can get you out there as quickly as a few days. You do have to go through a background check. check. You do have to do some training, but um, as quickly as you can get that done, we can then deploy you to those areas of need. And we can make a donation and we can help buy supplies Absolutely. and everything that we can possibly do. We've got information up on the screen right now. If you text Red Cross to 90999, you can make a donation there. There's also options for you to get involved as well. So absolutely. Thanks for joining us today. We definitely want to help those that have been impacted by Hurricane Helene. So of course that information will be up online at KSLA.com.